what's up you guys this is your girl queen and i'm back with another video so i'm sitting right here um waiting to take my boys into the barbershop i um was responding to some of my subscribers and we i was talking you know i want to go through everything that you know i want to go through the comments and new comments some people that i haven't because i want to conversate and communicate with everybody so i wanted to go through all of you know the comments and, and things like that so this quick video right here is going to be the van seat that was burned so i actually took some time because you know i'm be trying to really sit down and look and really zero in on some photos so i looked at i took some time and i looked at the van seat that is in the back that was thrown out burned possibly allegedly we don't know what they did <laughs> so but anyway so i took some time and i looked at the the seat the pit the photo of the seat um so i remember someone commenting about the burned seat so yes i do see the burned seat i don't know what it does look like they were trying to destroy some type of evidence i'm gonna say that i don't know who would take a seat out of a van instead i don't know if he was trying to tear it apart when you're getting rid of a vehicle or when something is junk, you don't you don't actually take the seats out, burn it. You take the car to the junkyard and people can come pick off pieces that they need, right? So I'm thinking, why would they take out take out burn take out pieces of the van and burn it was the children did they sit on it did they spill something on it is it something type of evidence on that seat that you want to get rid of and it makes you kind of wonder is they toying with us because actually if you got something that you don't want nobody to know you're not going to throw it in the backyard where, you know, people are out there watching and looking around. You're not going to throw it in the backyard where everybody can see it. Where someone can actually see the burnt pieces that you actually burnt the seat. You don't want people to see that, right? Okay. So, I don't know if they just don't care anymore or they think they're in the clear or whatever. Also... I got another video coming up, y'all. We got, got a few videos coming up because I am aware of the news that the police chief came out and said that they are not suspects. So, don't worry. I'm not going to address that. This video, that's going to be a whole other video. A whole other video. But, so, when you're, when you're doing a crime or when you're committing a crime, you don't want to leave evidence right there for everyone to see so i don't know if they just don't care or maybe that that had nothing to do with it i'm not sure it's possible that it had nothing completely nothing to do it's possible it had completely nothing to do with the boys that they're just a weird ass family that do weird stuff like that like take stuff apart burn it i don't know that it, i don't know why but it, it is it does look burned and it could be something from the boys that was on it why they burned it it could be something they burned it for evidence it's possible very possible that they did burn that for evidence or it's very possible that they're, they're just a weird ass family that takes stuff apart. Cause I don't, 
I don't know why you would take the van. My question is, why would you take the van seat out to burn it? You would only do that if you're trying to hide evidence. You would only do that if you don't want something found. You get what I'm saying, people? So, with that being said, I believe... I'm pushing a little bit towards something. The kids might have been in there. The kids might have been on there, in there. Something spilled or something from the kids. It could be any type of evidence. It could be secretions. It could be fluid. It could be drink. It could be a million possibilities. But whatever was on that seat, they do not. That's what I can say for sure. They don't want it discovered. That's why they took it out and that's why they burned it. I guess they feel like they burned it so we can just leave it out there. I don't care. Y'all can't find it no more. So y'all here. This is what we did. I feel like they're just throwing stuff out in our faces. And that's just how I feel. I, and these people really don't care. I'm just really feeling like. These people do not give a damn, period. They don't care. And that's what I'm seeing is that these people don't care. All right? They really don't care. So, with that being said, I did see the van seat. It did look burned. It's, it, 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 look, yes, it's burned. And I feel like it's possibly... obviously destroying from evidence destroying evidence okay um and they just threw it out there because they don't care they don't care that we know that they burned the, the seat of the van and they possibly could be just toying with us we have to keep that possibility in our minds that they're possibly toying with us because they know people are out there. They know people are looking in the backyards. They know somebody jumped the fence. They know people are trying to find answers about these babies. Therefore, I do think there's, they, that they might be toying with us as far as some aspect. I really feel that they might be toying with us. So, with that being said, we just got to think a little bit outside the box here. It's possible probably likely because you don't burn something unless you just got a, a fascination with fire unless you just got this real fascination with fire because you got some people that like to see stuff burn that would burn anything just like to burn whatever just because unless one of them has a serious fascination with fire it's possible which i don't see them having a fascination with fire It's very possible that they took the seat, burned it, because they didn't want whatever that was on that seat, whether it was secretions, fluids, soda pop, juice, blood, whatever. We don't know, because it's burned. It's very possible that they don't want us to know. Or they don't, they don't want it found. They don't want it discovered, and they don't want it... They don't want nobody to know about it. That's why they burned it. Okay? Um... Now, to throw it in the backyard for everybody to see, it's like a slap in the face. But they don't care. So, I'm telling that they don't care. That they're just out in the open with their stuff. So, that's what I take on that. I'm going to get ready to go so I can take my babies in to get their haircuts. But, I will be back with another video because I need to um, answer some more questions and... Also, for the new update, because, you know, there, there was a new update with the case. So, I got to make another video specifically for the update. And then, I'll probably answer some questions as far as the new update on that video. Or, I might make it a separate video. Because, I want everything to be organized. And, I don't want y'all to be confused on what's going on. Because, I know this case is very confusing. And, I don't want y'all to be confused. You feel me? I don't want y'all to be confused. Um, and, we have a lot of other cases that... <clears throat> that's going on so i'm not gonna start with the boys but pretty soon like maybe next couple of weeks i'm going to have to fit in other cases 
so y'all can be caught up on the other cases as well um on what's going on out here because i don't want y'all just to be you know we just focus so much on this and we get burnt out on it which i would never be burnt out on this case but that we can't we can also fit you know other cases in as well and we still stick to the missing cow city babies we can still do that um could be not the multitask because it's a lot of stuff happening you know there's a lot of criminals out here there's a lot of people murdering babies there's a lot of people doing crazy stuff to kids there's a lot of people just out here going crazy and they need to be exposed so we are definitely going to put more cases out at the same time we're still going to keep up with the updates and we're still going to be talking frequently daily about the boys all right love y'all your girl queen is out thank y'all shout out to all my old subscribers and my new subscribers i love y'all